Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see um, where is this connection headed. Okay, so we want to know where are things going and where will things end up between you and your special person. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below. Um, just where the show more section is. Okay, guys, with all of that being said, let's go ahead with the cards a shuffle and let's see where exactly is this connection headed. Reverse, just checking if the whole deck itself is reversed. Nope. Okay. So the, the devil tells me that there are very strong emotions uh, involved here, strong, uh, intense emotions. But uh, the thing with the devil here is that the devil doesn't do love, he does lust. So what might feel uh, what might feel like love or very close to it may actually be lust, infatuation, um, an obsession, an addiction here, an intoxication disguised as love. So do be careful. You do have a combination of interesting cards here. The Nine of Cups tells us that you've uh, you've manifested each other into your lives that this is someone who may be an ideal partner or someone who has the traits and the the traits qualities characteristics of an ideal partner so this is someone whom you really desire you desire for this connection to work for things to work out between the two of you there's this strong passionate energy strong desirous energy which feels really raw um, and very intense but do be careful because these feelings if they're not expressed in a healthy way they can and if you do not find an outlet for these feelings they can turn to an obsession an addiction with one another a type of in intoxication with one another which is not very healthy the knight of swords in reverse can be someone that is very rude someone who is very forceful can be a bit aggressive arrogant um, or a little bit ruthless in their approach here it can tell us that someone might want to rush this connection or maybe rushing through the connection and not really allowing it to unfold naturally or organically here um, the knight of swords in reverse could also seem as though he's fixed he's very fixed very fixated on getting what it is that he wants that he doesn't really care whose toes he steps on in the process here and it also tells me that if you are someone who is rushing this connection or if you are with someone who seems to be rushing things that be very careful that to, to the potential consequences of any rushed action because to me it feels like you may be charging into very dangerous territory. So really get to know one another, okay? Really get to know one another. Really sort of um, probe your feelings about how you feel towards this person. Don't rush anything, especially don't rush towards any commitment if there are red flags or if you don't really know each other. Don't rush the process. Allow things to unfold naturally, organically. And, you know, if they're traveling at a pace which is a little bit uncomfortable or indifferent to yours, maybe try and slow it down because I feel like this making any aggressive, impulsive or any rush decisions is going to put you in a very dangerous territory when it comes to this connection here. Okay, so sometimes when you might get involved with someone who is who is like into making rash decisions that kind of energy can pull other people in okay so be careful that that's not sort of being inflicted upon you here as well um 
The Knight of Swords could also mean that this isn't someone who has a clear direction. You know, he or she is just wanting to rush without necessarily having a clear goal in mind. Um, they can come across as a bit controlling, a bit of a bully, a little bit possessive. Okay, so, um, and they may have very little sympathy or understanding when it comes to disagreements here. They could also re represent a person who may be, who may have like conflict in the energies or who may be, um, who, who's not shy of any uh, confrontation and they could be into intense arguments, disagreements here. I mean, I don't know that this person wants commitment um, because I feel like the cards here are telling me, especially like with the Hierophant in reverse, this is rebellion, this is non-conformity, okay? Upright, it's someone who may be very traditional and wanting a very traditional type of a connection. In reverse, it's not conforming to um, traditions of any sorts here. Okay, so maybe you are with someone who doesn't necessarily want relationship or doesn't want a commitment right now. They may want the convenience of a relationship or the convenience of um, a connection without the actual commitment. So they may want to keep their options opened. They may want to talk to other people, form new connections here. But it feels like this person doesn't really have a desire to go ahead and settle down or to commit here. So, And if you try and pressure them into... A relationship when they're not ready or when they're not emotionally available you are entering some very dangerous territory here so do be careful here um, things could also become a little bit stale or a little bit flat within the connection as indicated by the hierophant here they could become a little bit dull you might find that the two of you don't really share the same values or you know there's not much in the way of creating a future together here. There may have to be a compromise here is what I'm seeing if this connection were to last or if this connection were to go the, dis to go the distance, there may have to be some sort of compromise. Someone may have to compromise on their values, their beliefs here, might even have to compromise about moving in or traveling I'm seeing here. Um, but it's important that you're better off thinking about what works in the connection rather than what doesn't work here because I feel like It's important for you to rely on yourself for what is right in your love life here, right? The devil here, I feel like, shows a darker side of this connection, of this uh, relationship here. It's The devil can be like attachment, a shadow self. Um, you know, we spoke about like uh, power, control, lust, addiction. So... To me, I mean, I feel like this card, there's so much to say about this card, but what I have for you when it comes to this relationship, notice how the the devil here has the wings of a, a bat, a vampire bat here, and to me it feels like, you know, the bat is um, an animal that sucks the lifeblood out of its prey, and this to me is symbolic of what happens if you continue to stay in a relationship that you know is not healthy for you, that you know is toxic or that you know it's not really going anywhere or that you know is a connection that's primarily based on attraction, lust, infatuation. Now for some of you, you may be involved with a married man or a married woman, someone who is in a relationship or is committed to someone else, but then it really makes you quite question their commitment or their loyalty not only to their partner but also to you because if they're able to do that you know to someone else they'll probably be able to do that to you here as well so you know the devil here is really symbolic of what happens when you sort of give in to your raw desires here okay because the devil has this really hypnotic stare i'm going to bring it close to the camera here it's got this really hypnotic stare which sort of magnetizes or you know entrances you to come near him so that he's able to bring you under his power, under his dominion, under his control here. So it feels like something about this, if you look closely, okay, to me it feels like there's something about this connection that tells us that 
it may not very well go the distance. There are some negative emotional patterns or there are some toxicities or there's something unhealthy about this connection. If you're able to identify that early on and address it, then okay, and if the two of you are willing to resolve you know, whatever the issues are at hand here, then yes, there may be room for this connection. But for some of you, I feel like be careful that you're not looking at a red flag, you're not, you're not seeing it as a green flag. Because to me, it feels like um, the longer you stay in this type of a connection in which you know it's a third party situation or there's an imbalance, a lack of equilibrium, or you know, you want a relationship your person doesn't, um, it just, it's just the longer you stay, the longer that I feel like you start resembling because notice Adam and Eve, they start sprouting little horns like the devil. It's a sign that you're, they are becoming increasingly much like the devil the longer that they stay there. Okay, so, you know, you kind of have to question. The devil is sort of like, it's prompting you to ask yourself, what weighs more for you? What's more important for you? The short-term pleasure um, of this connection Okay, the short-term pleasure, the lust, um, you know, the the pleasure, the lust, the infatuation that this connection provides you with, or the long-term pain that it's essentially causing you. Okay, it could, it's damaging to your self-esteem, your mental health, your spiritual health. So you know, you kind of have to ask yourself, what's more important to you, right? I do feel like with the three of wands energy, there is something about this connection in which it feels like. You're on the edge of a precipice. You're in a position to make a choice. Do you choose to stay or do you choose to go? Well, that's entirely your choice. There is no one here who, in this connection, despite Adam and Eve seeing really um, being bound to each other, you know, the choice is yours and yours alone to make. You may feel like this person has control or power over you, but that's only because you're giving them that power. Okay, so... I do feel like there is a lot of pain in this connection that is being inflicted. Someone may be projecting their pain or the longer someone stays in this connection, the more pain it's going to cause them. So I don't think that there is much of a future in this connection, at least not right now. Um, energies are in a constant state of fluidity. So th can things change? Yes, but that's only if you want to invite the change into this connection. Alright guys, and these are your messages, so thanks as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, bye for now.